I formally move the, the motion, uh, here, look, uh, and um, I think it's important that we read the motion into the uh, Dáil record. Um, and the motion reads as follows, that Dáil Éireann recognises that the post office network is a unique social, cultural and financial institute that is essential to our local communities and the country as a whole. It, Dáil Éireann recognises the vital contribution the post office network makes to the Irish economy and that the post office network employs over 3,000 people throughout the country. And the Dáil recognises that post office network is the backbone of both rural and urban communities and that, as they stand, the Department of Social Protection plans for the electronic transfer of social welfare payments poses a serious threat to the future of the post office network, and that without the income derived from the Department of Social Protection and the NTMA, NTMA contracts, the post office network will be destabilised in terms of its viability, and that it will directly cause a reduction in cash payments at post offices, which will ultimately lead to many closures and job losses throughout the country. And Dáil Éireann acknowledges the specific commitment in the programme for government to ensure the sustainability of the post office network. The party-wide acknowledgement of all elected representatives that the network provides a vital national strategic asset and that the key to the continued sustainability of the uh, post office network is that on post be equipped to the provision, through the provision of a full banking infrastructure operated by on post that will enable the network to facilitate the Department of Social Protection strategy to move to e-payments. And that Dáil Éireann recognises that 18% of Irish people that are unbanked and the 23% that are not online rely solely on the post office uh, network's services. And calls on the government, and Count Corla, this is the most important part of this uh, private member's motion. Uh, that, all, that uh, we call on the government to produce a comprehensive plan setting out the measures to deliver on their strategy and to commit to, the complete, to complete the action plan within three months of the date of this motion. And again, uh, to instruct each government department to implement to the post office network the business identified in the Grant Thornton and Joint Oireachtas Committee reports to underpin the sustainability of the post office network and calls on the government to commit, all ten, to commit that all tenders involving over-the-counter transaction, transactions will be decided on the basis of, of both social and economic policy, and calls on the government to commit to implementing a new banking service that will be available through, on post, uh, through the OnPost office network and operated by OnPost and calls on the government to commit to a once-off capital investment fund for the further modernisation of the post office network to enable the widespread provision of banking facilities in rural and disadvantaged areas, and to commit to reporting on the progress made on the implementation of the plan within six months of its publication. And those last items, Count uh, Corla, uh, Lash Kion Corla are, as I say, the most important part of this particular uh, motion. These are actions, concrete, practical steps to maintain the sustainability uh, of the network. Uh, and uh, unless, unless those actions are taken, it is my belief and it is the belief, a belief of the uh, post office network community and the Irish Postmasters Union uh, that the uh, that the network will suffer serious damage uh, and serious, serious reduction, and that that damage and reduction, and reduction in service will uh, have a knock-on effect on communities right, right uh, throughout this, this, uh, this country. Um, Last Kion Corla, the motion uh, follows on from a commitment in the programme for government, uh, 2011 to 2016. Uh, which, um, uh, which uh, says that the government will ensure that the, network of that the network of post offices around the country is maintained and that communities have access to adequate post services uh, in, in, the, in their locality. Now, the on, the, um, the on post network uh, is an extensive network, Las Kion Corla. Uh, the, it compares, for instance, with uh, other uh, retailers in, in the country. Their post office network has 1,156 branches. 
Uh, Musgraves, for instance, have 895. Credit unions, uh, 412. The Bank of Ireland, 255. Allied Irish Bank, 183. Uh, Ulster Bank 146 and local authorities 37. So it's an extensive network uh, which is uh, available right throughout the country in the very smallest of communities uh, from um, uh, both in uh, urban and in rural areas. Uh, and I think it is important to mention, Les Corla, that uh, this, uh, the Unpost network serves uh, not just rural areas, as, as it might be uh, thought generally, but the Unpost network uh, covers and supports and um, is uh, available in uh, very many ur urban centres. Uh, indeed, in the city of Dublin, there is an, un uh, uh, an post office network of some uh, 104 uh, branches, serving uh, mainly uh, disadvantaged communities right throughout the city. Uh, and again, uh, if the uh, network is not maintained and sustained and supported, then uh, we will face the closure of uh, quite a number of these, uh, of these offices, not just in rural areas, but in urban centres uh, as well. Um, one, of the key, um, one, of the, one of the key problems facing the, the service is the uh, social welfare contract and the Grant Thornton follow-up report commissioned by the uh, Irish Postmasters Union. Uh, and I would also, of course, want to welcome here t this evening uh, postmasters from right throughout the country who are here for this, uh, for this debate, which will take place this evening and again uh, tomorrow evening. Uh, but the, uh, a key uh, difficulty uh, for the network is the uh, social welfare contract, contract and the possible loss of that contract e either uh, in the near future or, or uh, at, at uh, uh, at a future at a future date and the scenario um, and the scenario uh, indicated by that grant Thornton report last count Corla is that uh, in the first case if there was no change uh, the social welfare contract in other words was renewed and e the e payment strategy of the department doesn't go ahead then the network would uh, continue and uh, there would be few if any if any closures uh, the second scenario is where the social welfare contract would be lost, uh, lost completely, and that would involve uh, the knock-on effect of uh, the closure of 557 of the 1,150 uh, branches, uh, uh, the reduction of 48 per cent. The third scenario, last uh, Corla, is where social welfare contract is renewed but has a lower level of transaction uh, due to the move to e-payment. Uh, and again, that would uh, reduce uh, the network and uh, involve closures of over 444 uh, 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 branches of, on post, uh, of the post office uh, network right throughout the country, as they both in urban and indeed in rural areas. Uh, there, my colleagues will cover many of the other areas involved, uh, uh, Les Cowncorra, but I very briefly want to refer to the government's um, uh, amendment uh, and uh, to say that uh, you know the, the minister, uh, the minister's statement earlier today, and which he will deliver, I think, uh, shortly, uh, says that the government has no plan to close uh, post offices. Uh, and of course, of course, uh, the government hasn't any plan to close post offices. But the real question here is. Uh, are the government prepared to, allow, prepared to allow post offices to wither away, or are they prepared to take practical, concrete steps uh, to ensure the, uh, the continuation of the post office network right uh, throughout the country? Unfortunately uh, and uh, disappointingly, uh, Corla, uh, certainly uh, on an initial reading of the, of the <laughs> government amendment, it would suggest to me uh, that, the, um, that there are no practical or concrete steps uh, in that uh, amendment which would ensure the retention uh, of the service as provided for in, in, in the programme for government. Uh, I mo formally move the motion, uh, Las Cian Corla, uh, and uh, uh, will await to the Minister's um, uh, speech and contribution on the matter. Uh,